exactly the same problem. How do we improve health, especially for our seniors, in a time when we're getting more seniors needing the help and we have less dollars to spend for it? It's a very difficult question. We have around, we spend a billion dollars on our nursing home patients in Connecticut today. We've got 28,000 nursing home patients. The DSS put a moratorium on building new nursing home beds about two years ago, which was really, it was really done about five years ago. So the difficulty is, if for our own Nathaniel Witherell, how are they going to rebuild their own institution? If there's a moratorium on expanding the beds, and right now they're not trying to expand the beds with the, their new plan, but they are trying to redo it, and in order to redo it, they need capital dollars from the state, and that right now the state is saying they don't have any more capital dollars to spend. So getting back to how do we go and bring the long-term care home, we've got a program called Money Follows the Person where we are supposed to get federal dollars so that if somebody has been in a residential home, most likely a, a nursing home, but it could also be a, um, a rehab center for six months, and the people at home were able to bring that person back to the community, they're supposed to be federal dollars that are going to be a match to pay for that. We have said that we will take 5,000 people out of the nursing homes in Connecticut and bring them home. To date, only 375 have actually been delivered back. And one of the reasons is, do, do the communities have the adequate services there? And the problem is, is we're cutting those who do have the adequate services. Greenwich, we are so fortunate where we've got a fabulous adult daycare. We've got Meals on Wheels. We've got home health care people. Um, <coughs> we've got TAG. We've got dial -a a lot of the communities don't have even these basic services. So how do you bring somebody out of a nursing home? The other dilemma is there will always be a need for some nursing home help. Primarily it's going to happen when the person who comes home needs 24-7 help. That is too expensive and you can't bring them into the house. It's just, if you do that on your own, it can cost north of $100,000, $200,000 a year to bring in skilled nursing help. And the other issue is safety that if you've got somebody who's home who's going to fall or going to climb out of bed or escape from the house where they shouldn't be, that person really cannot be adequately taken care of at home. So how are we going to accomplish all of this? How are we going to get people both in the nursing homes who need to be there and bring them back home? It's a $64 question, the $64 million question. We are $500 million in the hole for this year. It's going to grow. We are going to be 3 to $4 billion in the hole over the next couple of years with an $18 billion annual budget. We are going to have to make some very, very serious cuts. Anything that is not nailed down is going to be cut at the legislative level. So I think we're all going to have to tighten our notes. There, there isn't an easy answer. If any of you have got any suggestions as to how we um, bring people home, how we keep our, our buses going, our tag program going, our Meals on Wheels program going with fewer people um, and fewer dollars, then I, I would love to hear from you.